Today is day 17 of Considering Christ in Christmas, and today we're focusing on objections to the virgin birth. You may recall yesterday, I pointed out six statements from Matthew 1 about the virgin birth so that we will plainly see the Bible's teaching on that topic. However, the world is full of skeptics, in spite of the Bible's clarity. Famous skeptics include Voltaire and Madeleine Murray O'Hare. Skeptics have suggested that Mary must have cheated on Joseph, while others point out the biological impossibility of a virgin conception, and therefore they view the whole thing as nonsense. Unfortunately, skeptics abound. However, you might be surprised to know that the first skeptics were Joseph and Mary themselves. Joseph was the first person to make a moral objection. He was the first one to think Mary must have cheated. That's why in Matthew 1, the Bible records that Joseph was minded to put her away privily. He thought she had betrayed their betrothal. He knew that wasn't his baby. At first, Joseph was extremely skeptical of the whole thing. And can you blame him? Similarly, Mary was skeptical. It's in Luke 1 where Mary asks the question, how shall this be, seeing I know not a man? Mary was the first person to bring up the biological impossibility of a virgin birth. She's saying, how can I be pregnant if I haven't been intimate with a man? Joseph's skepticism was appeased by the angel of the Lord in Matthew 1, and Mary's question was answered by Gabriel in Luke chapter 1. If you're a skeptic, it's very unlikely that God will use an angel to address your skepticism. However, he is offering you a written proclamation concerning the validity of the virgin birth. I encourage you to read closely passages like Isaiah 7, 14 and Matthew 1 and 2, as well as Luke 1 and 2. And as you read, you'll discover that Luke, the third author, uh, I'm sorry, the author of the third book of the New Testament and the book of Acts, Luke was a physician and a world-class historian. And as you read, you'll realize that Old Testament prophets predicted the virgin birth centuries before it took place. As you study, you'll notice that first century Christians universally believed in the miracle of the virgin birth. Certainly, Christianity requires faith, but Isaiah and Matthew and Luke provide mountains of historical evidence that bolsters our faith in the miracle of the virgin birth and the truth that Jesus is the Messiah. Is this video series strengthening your faith, strengthening your understanding of the veracity of Scripture? The study for each of these videos certainly has done that for me. If you would, give this video a thumbs up and comment below with your feedback. And don't forget to join me tomorrow for day number 18 of this 25-day series in which we will continue together considering Christ in Christmas.